How much does turning on your air conditioning while driving affect your battery consumption? Let's find out. Hey there, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching my videos, Welcome. I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you enjoy my video and what I have to share, don't forget to subscribe down here and hit that bell so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. I am currently getting over a cold. And speaking of cold, you might remember a couple of months ago, I produced a video documenting how my car battery was behaving in colder winter months here in LA. And ever since that, I've been sort of obsessed about how to reduce battery consumption while driving a colder temperature. And I've read online somewhere that people have discussed that if you do not use your air conditioning and the heater, but using your seat heaters instead, it will reduce your battery consumption. I was skeptical about that. So I decided to run a test just to see if it's true. So what I did was for two consecutive evenings, leaving work and going home for one day, I turned on the air conditioning with the heat, not the seat heaters, but just a regular AC with the heat on as normal. And the second day under similar weather and temperature conditions and route, I turned off the AC and heat, but instead turning on the seat heaters just to see what the difference is in the battery consumption. And I found out something really interesting. Keep watching. I'm heading home. Ignore that, that is from this afternoon. Right now it is 520, 54 degrees. Let's uh, run the test and see how much watt hour per mile this is going to consume on my way home with AC turned on. So here we go. And then tomorrow I will do the same test but without turning on the AC and leaving on only the seat heater and see if there's a difference between the battery consumption. Right now it's at 362 watt hour per mile, still 54 degrees. And this is actually the normal consumption that I've been experiencing during the winter months. So, so far it's normal. I've arrived at home. I've driven a little over nine miles for about an hour and the average watt hour per mile consumption is 315. And the temperature dropped a couple degrees. Now it's down to 52 degrees. So let's see how the car does tomorrow when I turn off the AC or when I leave the AC off, but only turn on the seat heaters. Right now, I only have the seat heater turned on and the AC is completely off. It is 54 degrees and check out the watt hour per mile so far it's only 131 so yeah i think uh it is true that when you turn on the ac especially in winter time it's going to suck up more battery power when you drive i just got home and check out the efficiency 180 watt hour per mile how about that i drove nearly 10 miles in LA rush hour traffic for almost an hour. It is still 54 degrees out there. So yeah, it's true. If you do not turn on your AC 
and just leave your seat heater on, it's going to save you a lot of power from your battery. Sweet. So as you can see, what I read online turned out to be true. There is a huge difference turning on your AC while driving in colder weather condition versus not using AC, but just using your seat heater instead. So now if you ever have range anxiety, try it and see if it'll help you. Again, if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe down there. Give this video a like, make comments down there. Ask me questions about this car and I'll do my best to help you. Until next week, God bless.